Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I am super excited to share a project with you for Paper Tray Ink and we are using a brand new item, part of their latest release. Actually three brand new items, but one of them is extra special. It's kind of their debut. This is the beautiful hot foil plate. It's a full background plate called Fallen Leaves. And I hope there's more to come because this is just gorgeous. And you know what I love about this? Um, is there's a coordinating stencil. This stencil is called the Fallen Leaves Stencil Set. And it is a two-piece layering set. You can see here, it's for an A2 size card. But the nice thing is you can use this on its own to create a beautiful card, but it coordinates with your foiling. So after you foil, you can color in with a stencil and create a quick, easy, fabulous card. This is great for mass producing too. So we're gonna use both of these on our project today. I have my hot foil machine over our, off to the side heating up. And I also have a brand new die that's just gorgeous. This is called, this is the larger than life fall die. It is so pretty see the size of it it is large against an A2 panel this beautiful larger than life fall die will fit a card portrait or landscape beautifully so it's great for all different size cards now my machine is finished heating up we're going to use that on our card today so let's bring in our hot foil machine if you guys are new to hot foiling it's very easy to do you just place your plate on the base platform and then you need foil of course and I'm gonna press the timer so it starts heating the foil I want to go outside the box instead of uh, and mix some browns with blues today so I'm using this is called moon dust it has a very slight iridescence to it but it's a beautiful teal I'm gonna trim down a piece that will fit over my plate and here we have it now when you foil you want your plate face up so the flat sides on the bottom foil plate face up and your foil face down like so next you're going to need your card base or your card stock you're going to layer that right over the top when the timer stops flashing and this is the glimmer hot foil system so all systems are different but when my timer stops flashing that means it's ready to run through my die cutting machine what the die cutting machine is going to do is it's going to flatten it. Now I have papers and shims that I've created for my foiling and all machines are different. You just want to mix and match um, to get the best impression for your machine. I'm going to run this through and I will be right back. Okay, my foil came off with it along with my... Okay. Let's go ahead and remove our foil and look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful impression, just stunning. And that's all the foiling we're going to do. You can see how easy it would, this would be to mass produce. And then the foil itself is not too expensive. I'm going to put my machine off to the side, let that cool down. This is the negative piece, which is just as pretty. <laughs> Now I mentioned our stencil will coordinate with this. Let me show you. I'm going to show you the base first. This piece here, you can see it will line up beautifully with all of our foiled image. It goes right over the edge. I actually have some pixie spray, which is a low tack adhesive behind my stencil. So this is going to help secure it. I'm going to bring in my craft mat and we're going to do a little bit of ink blending. I think some oranges and browns are going to look really pretty with this background. So I have some inks. I picked out six of them. I have Honey Net, Classic Craft, Hawaiian Shores, Aqua Mist, Melonberry, and Pure Poppy. I may not use Pure Poppy, but I wanted it just in case. I'm going to use my finger daubers to go around because I want two tones on each of the leaves. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Okay, now we are going to add some color. Let's go with Melonberry. 
I'm gonna add some ink here just to go over the top very easily. Putting ink over your foiled images doesn't hurt it at all or take away any of the shine, which makes it really nice. We'll add a little bit here. After we have our melon berry, let's go in with our aqua mist. And we're going to color in some of these. We have our aqua mist. And then I'm going to bring in some classic craft. Do a little shading with this one. I like to add a little bit of brown to the edges of the colors. It just makes it look a little bit more natural. Okay, we're going to go in with Honey Nut next. We'll add some golden tones. I think we're going to go in with a little bit of our Hawaiian Shores. Darken up some of these edges. Okay, I'm going to put these aside and then I do want to bring in my dark chocolate ink for my next layer. Okay, I'm going to remove my stencil and you can just see how gorgeous this is. So pretty. Now I'm going to bring in my next layer. I Next, I'm going to go bold and go with my dark chocolate ink we're going to fill in all of these areas. And then we get to do the big reveal. How gorgeous is this? It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to actually trim my panel down a little bit more. Just, I just needed to trim a bit off. Okay, and then we're going to adhere this to the front of our card. I adhered my panel, my foiled panel. You can see how that just shines. I'm trying to pick up the light for you. But I think that looks gorgeous. Now we need our sentiment. So I'm bringing in our larger than life fall die. Next, I'm taking my Larger Than Life Fall Die, and we're going to die cut this out with our Hawaiian Shores cardstock and also our dark chocolate. And then I have a piece of fun foam here. I'm going to die cut that out. I do want to pop this up, so I'm going to die cut out some fun foam to go with it. This is so pretty. So let's die cut these out. So I do want to take my dark chocolate. I'm going to offset it on my Hawaiian Shores. This way, I, it'll just be, have a little extra color behind it, and it will stand out. If you wanted to use glue instead of a tape runner, you could do that. After we have this done, I'm going to flip this around. We're going to add some adhesive behind here, and then I'm going to put some fun foam behind our sentiment. This way, we can add a little bit of dimension to it. We have our fun foam adhered to the back, so now I know my sentiment has some dimension to it. I'm going to take some white cardstock. We're going to add glue behind our sentiment, our fall. And then I'm going to glue this down. Oops. I'm going to glue this down to a piece of white cardstock. We're going to create an outline to do that. It's very easy. But I'll just add this to some white cardstock. Like so. You can see that offsetting really makes a difference. And then I'm going to use my scissors and we're going to trim around to create it. Basically, we're going to create a shadow. 
trim this off a little bit more. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of a border around my sentiment. Okay, I'm just finishing up with my outline. And it, since we have a very busy background, what this is going to do is just going to make your sentiment stand out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and add some adhesive and place this on our card front. Wonderful. And then I'm going to be using the Larger Than Life Fall Sentiments. These coordinate with our Larger Than Life die. And there's a sentiment in here that says, reminds me, so it'll say fall, reminds me of how grateful I am for all the blessings you bring to my life. You bring into my life. So pretty. Let's go ahead and stamp that on some dark chocolate cardstock. I want to heat emboss this with some white embossing powder. So I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool. I'm going to stamp this with my watermark ink. And then I'm going to go over this with some white embossing powder. And then I'll melt this. And then after I have this melted, I'm going to trim it into two different strips. So I cut my sentiments into strips, and now we're going to re... I put foam adhesive behind it already, just to make it easier. We're going to layer these underneath our fall. Okay, now all we need is a little bit of sparkle, and for that I'm going to be using some rainbow gems. And we are going to add a few here and there because these will pick up all those facets of our leaves. Wonderful, I think that's just the perfect amount. And then that will finish off my card today for Paper Tray Ink. Nice pretty fall card, great for a lot of different occasions using the brand new foil plates over at Paper Tray Ink Shop. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.